mostly what? You've been told to stare at the ball. And how many people try to make, look at the contact of the ball in the club face at impact? You are so retarded in your swing. A big time. Because when I swing through, as the body goes through, the eyes will track level with it, and that's the finish. If I keep looking at the object, my body will stop moving. Yes or no? Yeah. So if I move my head with it, hey, my body went with it. Okay? So, good thing is, there's an answer to all this. The hands and the arms and the body all work together. So everybody put your arms out. Simple as this. And there's your grip. So if we keep this angle of our chest, our arms, and everything correct as we move to the side, where did my weight go? Right leg. So what's pitfalls of this? What are pitfalls? Hip going out, leg straightening. Right? So, and then if I'm here, I'm now, and this is really going to freak some people out when you do this in front of a mirror. If I move my body to the side and my arms to the side and keep my head still, that didn't look very good, did it? Nope. If I go here, now my weight's all here, and it's just like loading up, throwing a punch. I don't, if you ever throw a punch, you don't just rear your arm back, right? I got a big dislocate here, right? What do I do? I'm going to use my what? Arms and body back together. It's the same physics of a golf swing. The arms and the body goes together. So if I have a good grip, and this is the, this is the, the real big pain about this. If your grip is not 100% right, then this won't matter. If I have a good grip and I put the golf club in the right place, my arms and my body go to the side, I can check, turn, I'm in the same position I was at address. Cool. If I take my right hand and I have it a little bit strong and I turn my body to the side, look what happened to my elbow. Do you think that golf club is going to continue on the right path? No. Absolutely not. So you can check this. So how many people have been told you've got to move your hands first? Yeah? Like cock the club and all that? If you cock the club first and leave center behind, did my weight really move? It's not a universal thing, right? I've seen good players keep their leg the same flex, start with their hands hinging and all that, and their body support the motion. But I'm trying to take the idiot out of the factor here, all right? I want you guys to understand when you can do this right. So, one of my favorite drills from the late Harvey Painting is you grab a bucket of water. Now, this is as easy as it gets. You, you take something like 10 or 15 pounds, Go to the gym and stand in front of a mirror and take a heavy dumbbell, a barbell, something like this. You put your arms out. So if I have this beautiful symmetry of a heavy weight, would I do this? No. Right? So the water's here, hands are on the side. So interestingly enough, if I was like this, what? You'd feel a lot in the back of your hamstrings. It wouldn't feel good. So the very first move, if water's right here, is what? If I did that, I slosh it. So the first move in a golf swing is slightly towards the target. Now that doesn't mean move your hands. All right? Anybody lost on this? The arms and the body would all what? Rock together. And it happens so small, it's almost so infinitesimal that you wouldn't even, you wouldn't even think it if you were watching your buddy play. It's just a natural little motion because once an object starts in motion, Stays in motion, let's act by an outside force. Outside force is you keeping your head still, and two, starting the golf swing with your hands and your arms. So if the arms and the body all go to the side, did I spill the bucket? No. Did I spill it there? No. I'm in there, and I'm fully loaded right here. Hit a golf ball 300 plus yards from just that, that position. If I lift my arms independently, did that, did that do any good? No. Okay. So then how would I start the golf swing down? Anybody? Well, I wouldn't turn my body first, would I? That would cut across all you slicers who've been told you have to turn your hips first. You would actually have what? The weight would go to your left leg. Now, that doesn't mean you'd move out in front because then you couldn't, right? So it's really simple. If you take something heavy, it could be small child, medicine ball, a chair. It doesn't really matter to me. It doesn't. The weight would move to the right. Your body supports it. Your weight goes to the left. Body supports it. That seem complicated? No? So would you take a 20-pound weight and go like this? <clears throat> but that's how people play golf. Yes? Makes sense? They, and, and I could have many people come up here and, well, not swing so much because you guys might hit the ceiling. But, <laughs> you know, so your arms go where your body goes. 
and you'll, all, you'll see this. So if I twist my leg, my arm's going to go behind me, yes? Right? I'm not just putting my arms back there, it just goes because. So if my hip goes out, where's, my, where's that golf swing going to be? So I know there's some serious limitations of this. Now, hard part and the true part of